Over the past decade, the economic cost of natural disasters in Australia has averaged about $20 billion per year. This cost is predicted to double by 2050. When bushfires ripped through the heart of Victoria on a scorching Saturday in February 2009, the impact was likened to 1,500 Hiroshima-style bombs exploding across the state. Are we prepared for the growing economic consequences of natural hazards and environmental catastrophes in Australia? Is our economy resilient enough to recover after disasters? How about our communities, businesses and workforce? Are we making evidence-informed decisions to support relief and recovery efforts? These are all pressing questions as we see natural disasters occurring more often and more severely thanks to climate change driven meteorological extremities. The Victorian Black Saturday bushfires of 2009, the Queensland floods of 2010 and 11 and the Black Summer bushfires of 2019 and 20 are indelible examples of how extreme disasters can be in Australia. But whether they're natural hazard driven disasters like floods, droughts and pandemics, or man-made disasters like wars, famines and cyber attacks, all disasters are abrupt and major disruptions to the working systems we depend on. That's why there's a need, now more than ever, to be aware of the profound impacts of disasters on the socio-economic welfare of our nation and our global village. The Centre for Disaster Resilience and Recovery CDRR, at Deakin Business School provides high quality research and policy input into disaster related issues, including socio-economic analysis of disasters and economic and business strategies for effective disaster response. Our vision is to help alleviate individual and business vulnerabilities to disasters and to support the workforce, communities and firms in achieving resilience and agility. To achieve our vision, we contribute to policy debates on disaster recovery efforts and budget allocations by producing evidence to help develop effective policy responses. We work together and in close partnership with government and industry to deliver independent, academically rigorous and impactful research to facilitate emerging policy debates. Our research spans many fields and our members are recognised for their strong track record in collaboration across disciplines to create a comprehensive analysis and understanding of disaster impacts. Their expertise includes natural disaster economic resilience and recovery, economics of health and well-being, macroeconomic policy, international trade, conflict mitigation, environmental sustainability, consumer behaviour, insurance markets and housing markets and prices. Our work explores the consequences of disasters across key industries such as agriculture, energy, mining, manufacturing and services. We investigate disaster impacts on the health and well-being of the workforce in the short term and long term, as well as Australia's global economic competitiveness. For example, one of our recent projects that has examined the effects of disasters on the Australian economic sectors in the past 40 years, showing that floods exert an adverse and persistent effect on the outputs of agriculture, mining, construction and financial services sectors. In a different work, we have examined individuals' income trajectory following major natural disasters from 2006 to 2016. We find that low-income individuals, female workers, part-time employees, small business owners, as well as agriculture and tourism sector employees are more vulnerable to disaster-driven income losses. And for these groups, recovery takes more time. In this work, we collaborated with the Bushfire and Natural Hazards Cooperative Research Centre, as well as with federal and state stakeholders, such as Emergency Management Australia, Queensland Reconstruction Authority, Emergency Management Victoria, South Australian Department of Environment, Land and Water, and Western Australian Office of Bushfire Risk Management. We have also done work on the effects of lockdown on the labour force in Australia, and on the spread of COVID-19 cases across the United States counties. We have identified the economic, political and demographic factors underlying the spread of the COVID-19 cases. 
Our members have also explored the role of disasters in macroeconomic indicators, with important implications about how citizens' adaptation to disasters could affect such variables. Some of our work also utilises insights from consumer behaviour, cognitive psychology and policy to inform how individuals, businesses and governments can better prepare for disasters and how best to assist those groups to recover. We have shared our research through journal articles, webinars, media reports, articles in the conversation and via emergency management sector outlets. And we are focused on contributing research that can make an impact. For example, our research informed the 2020 CSIRO Report on Climate Change and Disaster Resilience, submitted to Prime Minister Scott Morrison in July 2020. We can also provide consultancy and training programs for public sector, business organisations and community groups to enhance their disaster resilience and recovery. So if your organisation is tasked with disaster response or recovery, or is seeking to develop its resilience or that of a community, we invite you to contact us to discuss how we can work together.